This presentation will briefly consider how the BCT TV1 taxonomy can be used to understand what components of interventions are proving effective and to use that information to develop new interventions. It's important to note that the taxonomy only represents the content of interventions, akin, for example, to the chemicals used in medicines. The delivery of interventions, including the intervention source, uh, for example, a health professional or researcher, and mode of delivery, for example, face-to-face -face consultation or mobile application, are also crucial to effectiveness. Let's begin by reminding ourselves as to why we need to be able to break interventions down into their components. First of all, behaviour change interventions typically involve large numbers of components, any of which may be contributing to the overall effect of the intervention. Uh, any one of them may have um, much of the effect, it, it may have no effect, or it may even hinder the effectiveness of the intervention. These components may be acting on their own uh, or together with other components in clusters. For example, self-monitoring and the use of feedback very often go together. And components may also interact with attributes of intervention delivery. For example, rewarding progress using praise may be more effective when the reward is provided by a person face to face than a mobile application. When interventions contain multiple components, it can be very challenging to be able to identify the effectiveness of each component or cluster of components. The BCTT V1 taxonomy is an essential first step in this. Each component needs to be classified in a way that allows comparison across interventions and studies. If we're classifying a component in a given way in one intervention, we must classify similar components in the same way in other interventions. Susan, Mickey and I identified six types of study that have been used to discover effects of BCTs and BCT clusters. Each type of study has strengths and limitations and probably no single study type will be sufficient to provide a definitive answer. Remember that when we're talking about BCT effectiveness, we're only talking about this with regard to a specific behaviour, um, population and setting, and when delivered in a particular way. The most powerful way of doing it is through experiments in which individual BCTs are included or excluded. Um, factorial experiments uh, can be used to do this with several BCTs at once. Less powerful, but often more practical, are comparative observational studies in which we take large numbers of interventions that contain different BCTs and compare the outcomes across those interventions. Probably the weakest method, but often the most practicable, is to simply identify the BCTs that have been included in interventions that have been found to be effective. In addition to these methods, we have various evidence synthesis approaches, uh, meta-analysis, meta-regression and meta-cart or classification and regression trees. And these are all discussed with examples in the reference that's shown on this slide. So when developing interventions, you can search the literature for studies using any of the six methods just described. Uh, you can undertake your own meta-analysis or meta-regression or meta-cart using studies in the literature. But bear in mind that journal articles typically report only a fraction of the BCTs actually used. And so you should go to intervention manuals um, for a more accurate picture. Or you can undertake your own experimental studies if that's feasible. Um, for example, you can uh, undertake a, a factorial design experiment to analyze the impact or assess the impact of um, several BCTs at once, if, if that's practicable. Um, and you can also apply a theoretical analysis of what BCTs would be expected to target particular mechanisms of action. And to help with this, uh, Susan Mickey and colleagues have developed an online tool whose web address is shown in this slide. 
crucial to being able to discover the effectiveness of BCTs and BCT clusters for a given behavior, population and setting, and when delivered in a particular way, is the accurate reporting and systematic classification of BCTs in scientific articles. I already noted that in most of the behavior change literature up until now, this has been inadequate. Now I've led on the development of a free online tool, PAT, or paper authoring tool, that has been designed to improve the reporting of intervention evaluations in behavioral, social, and clinical sciences. The web address is listed in this slide. PAT covers all aspects of study reports, but the part that deals with intervention descriptions is particularly useful because it provides a really convenient way to record the BCTs by selecting from a drop down list. This is a screenshot from Pat. It can cover any number of interventions, but presents two at a time, and the user can select BCTs from the BCT TV1 taxonomy. Um, and any BCTs that are shared across different interventions can be copied across to save time. Pat outputs a Word file. Uh, and also what is known as a JSON file, J-S-O-N, uh, that is computer readable. So that um, if authors include that as a supplementary file or put it in the Open Science Framework repository with a web link, any automatic literature search application can easily identify all the BCTs that were included in each study condition. To summarise, the BTTT V1 taxonomy provides an important means of identifying um, intervention components and clusters that allows us to gain a much better understanding of what components and clusters are being effective in behaviour change interventions. Identifying effective components is challenging and ideally more than one method should be used. Developing interventions can involve um, promising BCTs, which you've identified using uh, the literature and the methods described, or um, behavior change theory using uh, an online tool. Accurate, comprehensive and systematic reporting of BCTs is essential and can be facilitated using an online paper authoring tool as described.